nothing but the word that's all so who became a man the word this is exactly what the Bible is saying Muhammad he copied from the Bible the idiot without knowing what he's doing but by this by this he destroyed his religion because he said that Jesus is the Word of God in the same time he told them that the Word of God is eternal the Word of God is not a created and the Word of God is holy so Jesus is eternal not a created and holy like, then what is what is different between God angels are not holy in Islam remember they commit sin he ordered them Allah to bow down to Adam for they are accusing Adam to do mischief in the earth and they bow down to Adam but Jesus is the Word of God he is holy he is eternal and he is exist from the beginning you know eternal when you say when you say the Word of God is not created what does that mean exactly <clears throat> You have to remember something important. When you say the word of God is not created, it is eternal. Not created is mean the word of God was exist always the same as the existence of God. And this is what Jesus said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. When he said the Alpha and the Omega, it means the beginning of everything is by him. He is before the beginning. For him, time does not exist, actually. Because somebody will say, oh, he said, I'm the beginning. Does that mean that the, the, the God have a beginning? No. The beginning here is the beginning of everything created. Go to Genesis, you will see. The first thing it says, in the beginning it was. In the beginning. So, in the beginning, God created everything. That the beginning of us, not his. So, the word of God, which is eternal, is exist with no beginning and no end it is eternal always so is Jesus now if we go to different verse in here the, the ch chapter 4 verse 171 we will see the following that Jesus is the word of God and we show you that the word of God is not created and what given to Mary is just a word of God not dust not, not 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 a flesh, not anything, not a sperm, just the word of God. And Jesus is spirit proceeding from Him. Okay, now there is something was missing in the explanation. Now we got the, what is missing. Jesus Christ is the the eternal word of God, which is not a created. And we showed you the proof from Islamic sources. He is exists before the beginning, and he is exists after the end. For he is eternal. And this is was given to Mary, nothing else but the word of God. So nothing created the word itself because it's capable of the power of God became Jesus. Not an egg became Jesus. Not a sperm became Jesus. The word became a man. Then in here it says that Jesus, that word, have a spirit. And that spirit proceeding, I want you to focus with me with the I in G. You see the I in G here? Proceeding. You know what? When we when when we say that this is spirit proceeding, what we mean exactly by the I in G in here? It's mean non-stop proceeding. It's continuous verb. So Jesus is spirit which is always proceeding from him who is him God is Adam a spirit proceeding from him no actually the spirit of Adam is dirty he's a sinner he is not the word of God he is eternal and he is not the word of God which means he is not a created not a created not eternal but Jesus is not a created not eternal but Adam is created and he is not eternal so Jesus the eternal and Jesus the one is not a created and Jesus the one is a spirit which is proceeding non-stop from God what does that mean? it means Jesus' spirit is the spirit of God 
it's one can we cut between them can we make a line in here between the spirit of Jesus and the spirit of God so we say okay stop in here no proceeding anymore why it's proceeding from him give me a reason because this is the spirit of God actually this is why Muhammad he said the only one being called in the whole religion of Islam Ruh Allah is Jesus the Christ let me show you this is Sahih al-Bukhari Fatah al-Bari fi Sahih al-Bukhari the book of Iman huh? read with me how Jesus called by your prophet that he is Ruh Allah read with me Abdul when the apostles of Jesus peace upon him according to your in a word not my words as Muslims they said to Jesus Ya Ruh Allah Ya Ruh Allah who you the spirit of Allah do you see it Jesus is the spirit of Allah so we showed you now that Jesus is the spirit of Allah proceeding spirit from Allah which means always connected to Allah from Allah and with Allah and is Allah must be Jesus and your God is one but because you are ignorant and your book is mixed up and messed up you are confused he is the word of God which is not created it's eternal have no beginning have no end always exist he is holy because the word of God is always holy and that's why we see the Quran could not speak one bad word about Jesus as sinner but the Quran speak about Muhammad as a sinner big time to the point even the sin is breaking his back and this is an example proving who is Jesus from Sahih al-Bukhari your prophet saying that shaitan touch every human being when he's born except two he could not touch them Jesus and his mother why his mother she was he was not able to touch her the answer is very simple Mary she was protected because of Jesus Mary and her child Shaitan touch every you see how many human beings according to your prophet there's seven billion human beings every one of us Shaitan touch him there's only two in this earth and in heaven who is live in this earth and they are now in the heaven right you Muslims believe that Jesus is in heaven now right those two shaitan never touched them give me a reason give me a reason I wanna I wanna know why why he could not touch them uh, I know the reason you would say because they are protected by Allah why why Allah did not protect Muhammad <laughs> and the funny Muslims they say Muhammad is the greatest prophet and by the way the shaitan touching here present what do you know it's not about touching what a big deal if somebody touch you the word touching here presents sin sin so when shaitan touch you he give you the sin and this is mean Muslims believe that sin is a transform uh, object hmm? this is the point of touching you he touch you you became a sinner but he could not do touch two people which is Jesus and his mother so therefore they are always a pure that's why the Quran says that Mary is a pure and how a human can be pure if there's any human is a pure impossible this is what the Muslim says but when it's come to Mary when it's come to Jesus they are both pure pure this is why you see in chapter 19 verse number 19 in the Quran Jesus is holy do you see it Abdul Jesus is holy in your Quran first of all he is a gift of God what is the gift of God God the best gift of God is God himself giving you his words and that gift is a holy son and here notice there's two things about the holy there's the word holiness and there's the word son and always Muslims they try to downgrade Jesus make him no one because he's a son you see the the, the guy who made the post if you remember he just said well Jesus is the son of Mary how that can be God how he can be God well I want to ask you the same question how he is a son of Mary and you call him holy aren't you the one saying to me that the one is a son of a woman he cannot be holy and can't be God 
the Quran have different idea. So Muslims, because of their ignorance and because of the if Muhammad ignorance, by the way, the the, the reason of the, the author of confusion is this crazy madman Muhammad, who keeps saying things they contradict each other. So Jesus is a gift, and here I wanna I wanna ask you a question: As long Jesus is a gift from God, this means Jesus was where, with God. He is a gift sent from God to Mary. That gift is a holy son. And when we say a holy son, it means it mean always he is holy and pure. Now just one more thing to show, you, to show you that Muhammad is a sinner before we finish this video. I will give you some examples. Chapter 40 verse number 55 And ask for forgiveness for your sin. Chapter 47 verse number 19. Let me show you the last one. Do you see it, Abdul? Allah is saying to Muhammad, ask for forgiveness. And by the way, in here, look at the Muslims, they try to corrupt the Quran. They say the word, it's there in here, it's fault. Let me show you the corruption of Muslims. You see, this is Yusuf Ali translation. The fact, it's not fault, it's sin. Them back, not fault. The word them, the noob, means sin. Let me show you. Do you see it? This is Bictal translation. What he translated as sin. This is accurate. Ask for the forgiveness of your sin. Muhammad, even after he became prophet, he is a sinner, and Allah himself asking him to ask for forgiveness. Anyway, there's many verses showing Muhammad is a sinner big time. The sinner breaking his back, ask for forgiveness, etc. Even Muhammad, he asked the Muslims to pray to him. He asked them to pray for him. This is why Umar al-Khattab, he said, I, uh, I, don't, I don't trust the deception of Allah. I don't trust his deception. They don't know, they are not sure about their God. They might be screwed. Anyway, we showed you all the reason for us to believe that Jesus is God and all of it is coming from your books. So if your books is confusing book, it's because your God is a confusing God. And that means he is Satan. Go and throw your book in the garbage and take my advice. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon.